And welcome back here on the post game show here on ESPN Plus and the Navy Radio Network. Joined by Tony Paparonis as the mids pick up a huge victory. I mean, what a ball game. Yeah. That, that was a fun one to, to call. I'm sure it was a fun one to play in. It was really fun. It was a really close game. I think we all love playing in those tight knit games and actually pulling it out is, was the best. Yeah, Tony, you guys have been in the same spot they've been in several times this year. Coming back, though, feeling that momentum, and I know you keep dragging your friend up and down the court here, <laughs> but the consistent ability to get to the lane and start to see some finishes go your way, mm -hmm. how much has that helped your confidence? Because you did a lot of that here in the second half. I mean, yeah, I feel like every day I'm getting a little faster, a little more athletic. It's still like I felt like I couldn't even jump in the beginning of the season. I felt like I couldn't, I, I couldn't run full speed. I think I'm not at the full... I don't think I'm at full pace, full athleticism, but I think I'm getting there, so it feels good. You guys have won now consecutive games for the first time in a couple years in conference, but what, what's the feeling like? Do you f get a sense in the locker room that this is starting to turn? Oh, yeah, like something we tell each other is that we're not going to lose to the same team twice. That's our goal for the rest of the season moving forward, and I can tell we all really believe that we can actually do it, especially after these past two wins. Tony, what's the difference in close games, though, because – Close games demands focus, great decision making. That seemingly continues to improve here over the last month. What's been the key overall? I mean, I feel like all of us like are starting to know each other's games. Like we hadn't played before. I came in in like not the middle of the season, but like in the middle of our games, and they kind of had to get used to how I play, I had to get used to how they play, and I think now we kind of know each other well enough to be able to play well together. Well, congratulations to the win. Congratulations, new career high for you, and good luck Saturday yeah, against thank Army. Thank you, thank you. That's Jeff Tony Paparonis joining us here on the post-game show. We'll bring in Tim Taylor. Um, hey, Coach, that was a heck of a basketball game. It was a great game. Um, what a win for you guys. You know, Tony talked about it, starting to feel like this thing is starting to turn, and, um, it, and it seemed today that down the stretch you guys just believed that yeah. you knew was going to be a positive reaction for you guys. Well, I just think I, I've been telling you guys, we talked about a lot. Take out that Army game. I think we've been playing pretty well the whole year. We did, have not had a lot of results, um, but I think we're starting to find a combination that kind of works right there. And, you know, that, that was a, that's still not the Tony Paparonis that's going to be, <laughs> but she was, she was unbelievable tonight. But I tell you, you got to put your hats off to Marin. What two great offensive rebounds. She came up with some loose balls right there just from willpower. And then Sydney Watts, that last play was probably the best defensive uh, possession maybe of her career right there, locking, it, locking uh, McMillan up and just staying down. I thought it was great. You know, Tim, we talk about late game focus, mm -hmm. which has been such a growth issue for mm -hmm. this team the last mm -hmm. year and a half. I mean, you guys have been that team a <laughs> lot over the last year and a half. Mm -hmm. But the focus, the decision making, the clear intent was – at all times, drive that ball to the basket, mm -hmm. put the onus on the defense to either make a play or get a foul called. And the kids really did a solid job of sticking to that, and it paid off for them here in this in the fourth quarter. Well, you know, we really we, we put Kai on a high ball screen right there at the yep. end, and that's kind of what we did. And, you know, she was playing. We, we, we won a game without her playing quality minutes in the first half. She had three, and she was picked up four early and was able to continue to play. But I just think there was there were some big things. Now, the free throw shooting, we had to work on a little bit. We've been really good. <laughs> uh, but, no, I, I think you're right. We, I can go back to two or three games this year that I think we lost because of our experience. You know, we take a shot here or there. You know, even early in the season, our shot selection wasn't the best, but now you're starting to see that growth. The shot selection was pretty good. I thought we were really stagnant. Where I thought we won the game, honestly, was when we went down 12. Yeah. And I told the guys, I'm like, look, we got to stay calm. We're not playing well. We just need to be within six at halftime. We got it to six at halftime. And I, I, I really think that's yeah. where the game was won. The game, people can talk about the fourth quarter and all the things and kids making plays, um, but I really think, when we they went down, I think it was 29 to 17. I don't think they scored but two points the last right. four or five minutes. So I think on the defensive end, it's where we won the game. Yeah, and rebounding was such an edge for them. But at the end of the day, it's as you mentioned, it's Marin making the biggest play there mm -hmm. to secure the victory. And I think you held them without a basket in the final seven minutes of the fourth quarter as well. That doesn't surprise me. I thought we, to be honest with you. They beat us to so many 50-50 balls throughout the game. I thought we even played better defense than, than what will show up in the scoreboard yeah. because a lot of times they were coming up with extra possessions and we had to play 50, basically 50 yeah. seconds yeah. to a minute a lot of times. Um, but then in the end, we just get, we came up with those 50-50 balls and now those are, that's another growth point. You know, we talked about playing against Lehigh and how we, you know, extended the lead. Yeah. Now trying to come back from a lead and protecting the lead, you know. 
you play shorthanded here. I mean, you're, you're playing without, you know, your top two posts. Yep. Uh, you've altered the way you've played essentially with four guards. Mm -hmm. Back in December, Tony's not willing to make those plays driving no. uh, to the basket. As mm -hmm. we were just talking to her, just seeing her confidence rise up mm -hmm. a little bit and being willing to play that way now. Mm -hmm. She couldn't do that two months ago, no. but obviously did that at, a, at some key moments here in this game today. And even if she doesn't score, she made some passes to other oh, people that either absolutely. became baskets or became free throws exactly. for others. Exactly. Well, that what people don't understand, I think I've talked to you guys about it, but she had three months of basketball right. being yeah. trained and things like that and offensive and all that. She didn't have that. She went down in November of last year. We go for until December the 7th, and then she isn't in full really go, and it can only go three minutes when we went to Wagner. Yeah. And so the what people don't understand is she's – going to continue to get stronger through the year and, and she's continuing to lift she's continuing to try to get more girth on that leg and I think once we get to that point you're going to see a much better basketball player the further we go down she's different man she's different she because is. you can throw the ball into her and she's just going to go right by people and yep. you saw that tonight and I think we isolated her I'm like okay if you're going to play the matchup let's see what we can do and we threw it in there we mixed it up and went with Kaya a little bit just to see if we could get something and I thought they made a good adjustment by putting deal on her and mm -hmm. put a little more length and then we went back to Tony and Tony made some great yeah. plays well, coach once again congratulations great win and uh We'll see you Saturday. Good luck against the Black Knights. Ah, thank you. You know, <laughs> we're trying to keep people from beating us twice. <laughs> so far, so good. Yeah. Right. That's head coach, coach Tim Taylor.